Hey everybody, Chris and Mary Coast here, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how to pronounce Russian names correctly, and I'm going to explain how Russian names work in general so that you just understand how to use them in the future. And if you think that this video is useful, go ahead and press like, press subscribe, and leave a comment down below. All right, let's get started. So Russian names are a little different than English names. For example, my name in English is Christopher, and I always tell people to call me Chris. But not all people who are named Christopher are automatically Chris, right? It doesn't work like that in English. If the person says, you can call me Chris, then we just use Chris because it's shorter. But not every person who we call Chris is necessarily named Christopher. And not every person who's named Christopher is someone who we can call Chris, right? Different people might go by different names. But in the past in English, we had a stricter system of names, right? We had things like William, and we called him Will or Bill. And anybody who was Bill was almost 100% going to be William, right? And anyone who was named William, you might be able to call him Bill. And that's because the short name came automatically from the full name. But that's not really how it works today in English, right? Like, just because my name is Christopher, it doesn't mean that everyone automatically knows to call me Chris. And it doesn't mean that because people call me Chris that my name is Christopher. There are some people who just have the name Chris, right? And there are some people who have the name Christopher and don't want to be called Chris. So that's just an explanation of how names work before we start talking about how to pronounce them. So every person in Russian Every name in Russian has a full version and a short version. Now, some names don't have a short version, or we can think of it as the same name is the short and the long version. But most names in Russian have a short version as well as a long version, and everyone knows that every person who has the long version of the name also can be called the short version of the name. So just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, every person named Alexander in Russian is also Sasha in Russian. Sasha is the short form of the name Alexander. Now, how did it go from Alexander to Sasha? I honestly don't know. I'm sure that someone more knowledgeable than myself has already written it on Wikipedia somewhere, so if you're interested, you can go find it. But today we're going to be talking about the short versions of the full names and how to pronounce them. And so you need to know that names work differently in Russian than in English. And Every person who has the full name, the same full name, will also have the same short name and vice versa. So if you meet someone and they introduce themselves as Sasha, then you can call them Alexander. Or if it's a girl, Alexandra, because this is also the short name for the girl's name. So the man's name, the full male name is Alexander or Alexander, and the short name is Sasha. Right? And the full female name is Alexandra. Right? It has an A at the end, whereas the masculine form did not. And the short form, again, is Sasha. So Sasha can be a man or a woman. So let's take a look at some of these names and make sure that we're pronouncing them correctly. By the way, if you would like to have speaking practice in Russian with me and native speakers of Russian, native Russians who are teachers, then we have a program called Russian Club. You'll find the link under this video and you can come and you can practice speaking with us and get lessons from us every week, all right? So if you're interested, click the link. So let's talk about names. First, the first name, Tatiana, Tatiana. And the short name is Tanya. Now, before we get too deep into the pronunciation of names and which names are full and which names are short, like Tatiana is a full name and Tanya is a short name. We need to also understand why a lot of Russian people think that English speakers mispronounce their names. There's usually two reasons that people think that English speakers cannot say Russian names. The first reason is that English speakers put the stress in the wrong part of the word, right? Like here I'm saying Tatiana, Tatiana, Tatiana. And so the stress is on the ya. Yeah right? This letter, this sound. But if you say this name in English, you probably aren't going to say it like that, right? You're going to say um, Tatiana, Tatiana, right? It's going to sound different. 
Now here, the stress doesn't change, but in some of the other names, you'll see that the stress might change. Like, for example, the, the, the best example of this is in Russian, Ivan, and in English, Ivan, right? Here, the stress changes, so the name sounds very different. So if someone tells you that you're not pronouncing their name correctly in Russian, then that's probably because of stress in the word, where you're placing the stress. The second reason is that you're probably pronouncing the sound E wrong, or too long, or in the wrong place. So listen again. This name here has this letter, which is called the soft sound or soft sign. And what it does is it just changes the letter before it. So there's no E here. Like in English, it's Tatiana, right? Tatiana, Tatiana. Uh, so in Russian, it's not E, right? It's just this soft T and then a Ya after. So there's Tatiana, okay? It's a little different. I always hear uh, Russian people complain that English speakers can't pronounce their names correctly. This is one of the reasons. So it's Tatiana. Um, and then another one that people always complain when people mispronounce it is Natalia, Natalia, right? Because in English it would be Natalia with an E. Now, to make matters even more confusing, some people, some Tatianas and some Natalias, they write their name with an E. And in that case, it's correct to say E, the long E, just like it would be in English. So, if you don't know how the name is spelled, it's probably going to be like this with the soft sign but uh, some people have it spelled differently too. And that doesn't change what the short name is going to be. So we have Tatiana, the full name, Tanya, the short name. Next, Olga, Olga, and Olya. Now here again, we have a soft L. And in this short form, Olya, there's also a, sh uh, a short uh, soft L sound, right? The soft L sound. It's different than in English. In English, we have la, 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 la. But here, the soft version of L is le, le, le. If you've ever studied Spanish or Italian, then you've probably heard this sound before or other Latin-based languages. So, Olga, not Olga. Right? We need to make that soft L sound. Ol, Olga, 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 Olga. Short version, okay? Uh, and then if we put this into English pronunciation or English transcription, it will be olia, right? In English, we're going to add that E sound, that long E, because that's how we pronounce words like this usually. So uh, it makes it easier for our pronunciation because we're anglicizing this name. Next, we have Yelena, Yelena. And the short form is Lena. Again, we have a soft L here, and if we say it with a hard L, people will think that we're not pronouncing it correctly. Next is Anna, Anna, and the short form is Anya. Now, when we talk about girls' names, there's a lot of different ways that you can use these names because you can change them a little bit and you can make them sound even sweeter and smaller. Like in English when we say E at the end of a word, like not just a dog, but doggy, right? And in Russian, we have sabaka, dog, and sabachka. And this is like a little doggy. So we can do the same thing with names, right? I would hate it if someone called me Chrissy. <laughs> but it's a good example of how it might sound if you use these other versions of names. For example, if we're talking about Anna or Anya, then Anya could also be Anichka. Anichka. Right? That would be a nice little Anya. <laughs> so we could use this word to show uh, that we are speaking about her in a different way, in a sweet way, or that she's so nice and small and cute. Right? We could say something like this, Anichka. Um, and it's sweet. Another one that we could say is we could say Anyucha. <laughs> and this one would sound a little maybe ruder or, or uh, it, it would definitely have a different sound to it. So there's a lot of different variations of names that you can learn. And um, there's probably eight or more versions of every name. So you should start with these, the, the most common ones that I'm showing you now, and then you can learn more. Especially when you meet a person with that name, then you can 
get close to them and you can ask them about different versions of their name and they'll definitely know. Okay, the next one, Natalia. And the short, verm the short form of this name is Natasha. So Natalia, Natasha. Next, we have Yulia, Yulia, right? Some, again, sometimes someone will write it with a E, so then it'll be Yulia, but some people will write it with the soft sign, and then it's Yulia. Um, but there's no short form of this name. Now, when I say there's, there's no short form of this name, um, it's not exactly true, right? They're just not the standard automatic one that everyone thinks of. But if you talk to someone named Yulia, and you say, Yul, Yul, Igisuda, come here, right? Like, Julia, come here, because Yulia is like Julia. And she'll understand you if you say Yul. Now, that's not the official short name, but everyone will understand it. You could also say Yulichka, right? To, again, to, to be cute and to show this nice, small form of the name. Okay, next, we have Maria and Masha. That's right, every person whose name is Masha is really Maria. Okay, next, Yekaterina, Yekaterina. And the short name is Katya. Next, Anastasia, Anastasia. And the short name is Nastya, Nastya. Next, Victoria, Victoria. And the short name is Vika. Next is Daria, Daria. Again, some people might write it with soft sign and some people might write it with an E. So Daria or Daria. Um, and the short form of the name is Dasha. Next, Irina, Irina. And the short form of this name is Ira. Now, again, you could change it and you could make lots of cute endings like Irka or Irichka. Uh, okay, the next, Ksenia. Now this one's hard for English speakers to say because we don't usually have the sound k and s together at the beginning of a word, right? Like we have it at the end of words, like box, but we don't usually have it at the beginning of words. So we're taking that sound and putting it at the beginning of this word, x, xenia, xenia. So xenia, and the short name is xusha, xusha. I know, it might be difficult to say, practice saying it a few times, and this is a very common name, so you'll probably meet someone like this if you meet a lot of Russian people. Next, Svetlana, Svetlana. The short name is Sveta. And we already talked about Alexandra, and the short form is Sasha, right? And we told you that that could also be a man. Sasha could be a man or a woman, and we'll see another name in the male list right here. So let's talk about men's names. Now, you can do the same thing with men's names. You can make them sound small and cute, but for men, you know, people don't usually do it in the same way. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that they might change it. Um, so let's start with the first one. Vladimir. Vladimir. Right? This one sounds a lot different than in English. In English, it's Vladimir. But in Russian, it's Vladimir. Vladimir. And the short form of this name is not Vlad. <laughs> Lots of people make that mistake. Vlad is the short form of a different name. The short form of the name Vladimir is Vova, Vova. And Vlad is the short form of a different name, Vladislav. Okay, so let's go to the next name. The next name is Vasily, Vasily. And the short form is Vasya. Now, there's another funny story here because the word Vasya can also be like guy. Just like about a person who we don't know who he is, or he's just a person who we don't know, like a stranger walking down the street. So if we want to say, you know, some guy did this, then we could call him Vasya. But it's also a real name. It's the short form of the name Vasily. Okay, the next name is Ivan, right? We've talked about this one. That's, uh, in English, it's Ivan, and in Russian, it's Ivan, Ivan. And the short form of the name is Vanya, Vanya. All right, next, Mikhail, Michael, Mikhail, and the short form of the name is Misha. Next is Pavel, or Paul, right, Pavel, and the short form of the name is Pasha. Next is Maxim, and the short form of the name Maxim is Max, 
That sounds just like in English. So, Max is considered a Russian name when you're speaking to Russian people. They'll think, oh, I understand this name. It's, I know how to use it, right? But they might also think that if your name is Max, that your full name is Maxime, okay? Next, this one is another one that confuses a lot of people. This name is Denise, Denise. And the short form of the name is Dan, Dan. Now, Denise in English sounds like a girl's name, right? It sounds like Denise. There's an English name, Denise. And so when we say the Russian man's name, Denise, it sounds very similar, right? Because in English we have the, uh, a man's name, Dennis, with the stress in a different part of the name, right? Dennis on the first syllable. But in Russian it's on the second syllable, it's Denise. And the short form of the name is Dan. So if your name is Dan, then people might think that you are Denise. Yeah, it might be confusing. Another thing that's confusing is there's another man's name in Russian, Daniil. And Daniil is not Dan. Dan is only about Dennis. Or in Russian, Denise. All right, next, Nikolai. Nikolai. And the short form of this name is Kolya. <laughs> right? From Nikolai. Nikolai. Uh, Kolya. Short form is Kolya. I had a friend named Kolya, and everyone called him Kalyan. And so there's all kinds of short names that you could use uh, when you speak about different types of people. Next, Raman, Raman. This is a man's name. And the short form is Roma, Roma. Okay, next, we have Stanislav, Stanislav. And the short form is Stas. So if you meet someone named Stas, then his full name is this long Stanislav. All right, next, Yevgeny, Yevgeny. This is like Eugene, Yevgeny. And the short form of Yevgeny is Zhenya. Sometimes it's hard to remember that one, right? Yevgeny and Zhenya. Now, it's also another example of one of the names that can be both male and female. So Zhenya could be a man or a woman because Yevgeny is a man's name, but Yevgenia is a female name. And both of them have the short version, Zhenya. All right, next. Constantine, Constantine, and the short form of the name is Kostya. Next, next we have a few names that don't have short forms. For example, Igor and Igor. <laughs> you might be thinking, uh, what? What's the difference there, right? Yeah, a lot of people get confused with these two names. So again, the first one is Igor, and the second one is Igor. Okay, the stress is in different places. In the first one, it's on the first syllable, Igor. And in the second word, it's on the second syllable, Igor. And neither of these names have a short form. Of course, you can make up some short forms like we showed you examples before. Um, next is Anton. Anton. Think of it like uh, Anthony. Anton. And the short name is Tosha. Next, Andrei. And this name doesn't have a short form, it's just Andre, and you probably guessed that it's Andre, right? But again, in English it's Andre, stress on the full, first syllable, and in Russian it's Andre, stress on the second syllable. And the last example for today is Artyom, and the short form is Tyoma. Now, there is one more thing that I want to point out, and I want to bring to your attention. It's two names. The first name is Alexander. And the second name is Alexei. As you might have guessed, both of them sound like they have the name Alex in the beginning of them, right? Alexander, Alexei. So for English people, if they hear either of these names, they might try to call the person Alex. But in Russian, it's very clear that these are two separate names with separate short forms, right? Separate short forms. Alexander is Sasha like we talked about before. But Alexei is Lyosha, Lyosha. So right now, I hope that you have learned something really useful from this video. Hope that you understand how to pronounce these names a little bit better. I hope you understand how names work a little bit better. You understand the short forms of the names. 
And now it's up to you to go home and look in the mirror and practice saying them, right? Or maybe you'll find a Russian friend in your neighborhood and you can practice with them. Now, if you can't find anyone to practice Russian with, then come practice with us. We have our program called Russian Club. It's only $50 a month, well, $49.99. If you click the link under this video, you can go over there, you can join. We have live lessons where you can practice speaking with me and with other people. Like I said, we have professional teachers on our team, uh, people from Russia and other Americans who have studied Russian for over 10 years. So we can definitely help you start speaking very quickly. That's what we specialize in. And we've also got a teacher on our team uh, who's completely certified and has a lot of experience working with the US consulate in Russia and other government agencies. So we have a lot of experience here on this team and we will absolutely help you speak Russian better or start speaking Russian if you're just getting started. So click the link under this video, come join our Russian club you know, if you don't like it, you can just try it for a month and then you can stop. If you don't like it, um, it's really easy. You just unsubscribe right there on the website and it's all automatic. So um, I hope to see you very soon in our next lesson. If not, then I'll see you again here on YouTube. Make sure you press like, press subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified next time that we have a lesson and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always uh, happy to hear your feedback and you can give me some more ideas for our next videos. <laughs> All right. Uh, great. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing these every week now. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep this channel more up to date and give you some more useful content. All right. So looking forward to seeing everybody very soon. Bye bye. Have a great day.